Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand big O notation examples. So, the concepts, the mathematical concepts related to big O notation and the definition of asymptotic notations has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because without understanding these, those videos, you may not be able to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concept and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now big O notation examples we'll try to understand as we have discussed in our previous videos that so uh, the uh, asymptotic notations are used to give the meaningful statement or they are used to describe the behavior of an algorithm so uh, and uh, 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 what we are going to understand is we are going to take the uh, take this algorithm and we are going to notate the efficiency of this algorithm by using big O notation. Why we have to use the big O notation and uh, what is the what is the behavior that we are going to understand uh, by giving the big O notation and why we have to give only the big O notation to this algorithm that we will try to understand by using this example. And this example is a search example search algorithm it is going to take an array so uh, this uh, algorithm is having an array and we are going to find for an element called x so this is an array example for example if you take this array in this array we are going to find for a particular element for example if you want to find for 5 so uh, this algorithm is going to uh, say that if the element 5 is there in this array it is going to say that element found okay so the, that that is the job done by this algorithm so this for loop is going to start from the 0th position until the end n minus 1 which is 4 and every time it is going to check uh, a of i value with x for example if x is equal to 5 every time a of i in the first iteration 9 is compared with 5 is it equal no it is not 27 is compared with 5 is it equal no 6 is compared with 5 is it equal no in the third iteration 6 is equal to 5 is getting compared in the fourth iteration 5 and 5 are getting compared is it equal yes it is equal so then it is going to uh, uh, element found is printed and we are going to come out of this entire loop so that is this, this is how we are going to find uh, an element in an array now what is the efficiency what is the efficiency or the time complexity of an algorithm so how many times for example, if you are trying to search for 5, how many times does this for loop is going to means for loop in the sense this line of code is getting executed. If you are searching for 5, this line of code is executed for 4, four times. This line of code is getting executed for 4 times. In the 4th iteration, both of them are equal and we are going to come out of this loop. This break will get executed and this is going to, we are going to come out of this loop. For example, if you are searching for 9, if you are searching for 9, how many times will this line of code will get executed? So this line of code will get executed only once. In the first attempt of the iteration, in the first iteration of the for loop, the element was found. So it is going to uh, print this line and it is going to come out of this loop. See here, here the behavior of the algorithm is not certain. So the number of times the lines, uh, the, uh, the lines in the program, in the algorithm are getting executed is changing from input to input. If you change the input, the number of times the lines are getting executed is changing. Try to get that point. This is the main essence of this entire uh, video. Okay. So uh, it is changing. For example, if you are trying to search for 31. If you are trying to search for 31, then this loop is going to iterate for n number of times. Then this loop is going to iterate for n number of times. Now how to notate this behavior? How to notate this behavior is, we have to notate this by using big O of n. Now what is the time complexity? What is the time complexity for this? So it is going to iterate for, in worst case, let us assume that we are trying to search for 31 if you are trying to search for uh, 31 this is going to iterate for uh, n, n, n number of times in the sense n plus 1 number of times let's assume that and this is going to iterate for n number of times and every this one 
uh, we are going to come into this only once so this one will get executed only once and this one will get only uh, get executed only once so total number of times uh, what is the it is 2n plus 3 is the efficiency of this time complexity of this algorithm now this can be this can be represented this can be represented by big o of n this can be represented as big o of n we have seen the mathematical part of this algorithm of this uh, kind of functions why the big o of n is given why the big o uh, the notation big o has been given is it is going to give the upper bound this is the point that you have to understand so as we have seen that the big o notation is going to give the upper bound big o notation is going to give the upper bound or worst case analysis in worst case in worst case means if you are trying to search for the element at the uh, last element if you are trying to search for the last element in worst case it is going to iterate for it is going to take all the n iterations so the big o notation is used to find the worst case analysis if we are not sure that how many times the program is getting executed uh, uh, how many times the uh, uh, the program steps are getting executed and it will as it is changing from input to input we can guess the worst case time in worst case if you are trying to search what is the worst case for this algorithm if you are trying to search for the element which is present at the last which is present as the last element in worst case it is going to iterate for n it is going to iterate for n number of times try to get that point it is going to iterate for n number of times so that is the reason why so what is the upper bound or the worst case uh, uh, notation that is used is big o notation big o is going to give the uppermost at most upper bound of uh, the given function upper bound for the given function the given function is this one and what is the upper bound for this it is big o notation so for to donate the as it is as we are not able to describe the uh, uh, as the input value changes the number of times the program steps are getting executed is changing so we are going to give the big o notation so that that is the reason why we have to give the big o notation okay so this is all about big o notation hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching